Karen is happy with the penetration. What? Not only did I repeat there, but I repeated earlier in the game, which you guys already saw. But I want to show Karen. Watch all this repeating that happened. See this position? This is earlier in the game. She went here, and then we did that. And then I took. And then I did that repeating later. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I, I knew I should always repeat before this stream because of the video. Always repeat. <laughs> Repeating the repetition. Has anybody thanks for the five cents ever accidentally gotten a threefold? threefold? Mm -hmm. Grandmaster Gus says I should have played H four, H five, H four, H five. Always repeat. I never knew Zatonsky's middle name was whatever that is. No. Mm -hmm. Your game with Nazi. I've played Nazi, I guess, just the one time. I played like God, okay, except I exist, and I was completely winning. You couldn't play better than I played. Dead, She's dead lost, and I played all perfect moves. Then I moved 24, I hung a piece for nothing. I know, I remember the game. So I was down a piece, so we played and played and played and played and played, and she got to an ending that was barely winning. But we were in time trouble and it ended in a draw. So it was a perfect game. So she was winning the last like 65 moves and I was winning the first 20 moves. All right. Uh, why are you not as good now as you were then? I'm 52. Yeah. I can't find your OTB games on YouTube. Uh, I don't know. You're spelling my name wrong? Yeah. I have like a billion games on the internet. Try to have a small child help you. They know how the internet works better. All right. Then there's the game I lost to Fabi. And just like, see, I got to make this joke, but not make it too bad. Just like my first time with Karen, this didn't last long either. Uh, the worst part anti-vax research yeah okay so this was in the pro chess league which which our team actually won uh when i played for st louis uh and this was our match against the chess bras i guess because fabi played for the chess bras unless it was st louis i think he played for st louis and he played for the chess bras depending on what year it was i don't remember what year this was okay so i played my usual you know, knight f6 and d6. Bishop c5 is what most of the super GMs play, but I've always played d6. Yeah, and in this position, um, I like to play g6, bishop, g7, castles. And he played a very early d4, which I didn't know. This is the most testing move. And, you know, I didn't know what to do. And I, even though this was a rapid game, it was like 15 minutes, I thought like five minutes here, which, you know, isn't good. And I did play the right move, bishop g7. I was calculating all these variations where he takes a pawn and his rook is here. But he just immediately played here, which is the book move. And took. And took with the knight so I could play f5 early. Yeah, so I want to play f5, but I can't allow knight g5 to e6. So I play h6 first, so he can't play knight g5. He played knight d2, f5, never play f3. So it looks like a king's Indian, except his bad bishop and my good bishop are gone. So it's just better for him. And I made a horrible blunder very early. Very early. Okay, g5. Rawr, attack Fabi. Ooh, let me see. I like looking at results. Oh, Joe lost. Oh, come on, those results. Uh, wow, look at that upset. Draw on board two, draw on board three. Well, I think Diego beat Chris. Uh, hey, that one. guy, Anish. Yeah? Yeah, he, uh, man, he gave me the biggest beat down. Uh, Is it a kid or an adult? Uh, he looked like college age. Mm. That's pretty big upset. 20 18, 20 yeah. yeah, he. I'm not surprised by that at all. Mm -hmm. 
this is a game Fabi beat me on the internet in the Pro Chess League about four years ago. Mm -hmm. Okay, he played knight c3. I took, which is bad. The engine wants me to go here, but it's hard to attack without this white squared bishop. This is why this is better for white. Okay, he took with the pawn, so I can't play knife f5. Knight g6. G3, so I can't play knight f4. Knight f6. All right. <laughs> I don't understand what Triangle Miller is talking about. What's he talking about? I don't know. The old guy and the only knowledgeable so explaining how it works. All right. Go LJ Gonzi. Okay. So I've been like worse the whole game, but you know, like reasonably worse. Uh, and then I played eight, uh, Queen D7, which is okay. King G2 stopping Queen H3. And then I played knight g4, which is okay. And he played here. And now I made a very bad move. So I played fine from here. And again, it says he's slightly better. And, you know, I have a lot of moves that are okay. Um, but at this point, I was very behind on the clock because I took so much time on playing bishop g7 earlier. So now I fall apart um, very, 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 very quickly. Reductive. I blundered with h5, which is bad. He played knight f3. And in this position, uh, I don't understand the blunder that I made. Um, I guess when he played knight f3, I thought he was stopping h4 or trying to, which it doesn't. Um, the engine is actually isn't a big fan of knight f3. It says after bishop h6, my position's not as bad as it was. It's not good, but you know it's okay. And I just, I just, I don't know why I hung my g pawn. I just hung it. Yeah. And yeah, now the knight can go to e6, and then my knight on g4 mm -hmm. isn't protected. I don't, I don't know why I hung my g pawn. Horrible blunder. What year was the game played? Like four years ago, mm. something like that. Okay, and the game just ended immediately. My knight's trapped. So. Fabiano Marijuana. Yeah. yeah, and then he and then he, and then I resigned. So yeah, I played very well up until here, but I played really slowly. And then instead of playing bishop h6, and probably losing since he's higher rated and has more time, and he stacks paper to the ceiling, he rides on 24 inch chrome. Uh, I just I lost immediately. I like hung a pawn, and then my knight was trapped, and then I, I got a piece. And, yeah. And his knight's on e6. Mm. Yeah, I just totally fell apart. Terrible. But if you're going to blunder every move and lose, I'd rather do that against Fabi than like a 1500. So, mm -hmm. better to lose there. Uh, Man doesn't smoke doobies. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Fabi, you know. Fabi's no, no, favorite. song and dance, that's wrong. It was, it was Fabio. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get our second train going. Yeah. Okay, next game. Now, that game wasn't Feedy or USCF rated. It was on the internet. So. But it was an important game. Okay, this was played in the U.S. Championship when Sam was an IM. And uh, Sam was always known as playing a lot of theory. Then when his theory's done, you know, he's no good. He's still known for that today. And... Um, unfortunately, he's better at being no good than he used to be, and he knows more theory than he used to, so that's terrible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, Samuel Shankland, probably the first 15 moves of the game is the best player in the world. And then between moves 50 and 40, you know, he's like me. But I mean, I'm kidding. He's a lot better than me. But he's closer to me than, like, Magnus when it comes to, like, middle game and end game. Um, and Sam got a lot better the last three years, uh, which is unfortunate because it's really hard to make fun of him now. But I always got, you know, Gotham Chess and Lawrence Tran and Ginger GMs. That's okay. I don't. I mean, I got plenty of people. Yeah, it's, it's fine. Hey, Julian. <clears throat> How's it going, Julian? Yeah. Uh, hey, Lawful Waffle, the starting um, soon video is for Ben's channel, not for anything to do with the U.S. 
championships. Been streaming mm -hmm. on the chess.com uh, Twitch channel. Yeah, the next 13 days, except for the rest days, I'll be 